Hi guys, uh, this is Brandon. I'm um, loading up the Brothers War here. I just wanted to uh, show you how um, to play large size decks. That's usually what I play is uh, a deck from 200 to 250. Um, first I'll let up um, the Magic the Gathering uh, load up. So take it easy on me right now, okay? Quit judging me so much. I'm only uh, trying to show you real quick for you Magic the Gathering freaks out there like me. So I'll load up the decks here. For mine, it could take a little bit. Um, not sure why that that is since I moved over here. Um, Basically, the, the way I play my deck is that um, I don't use any, most, all my cards, I probably have one card in my whole deck that allows me to search my library. And I know this is not a great idea. Um, the reason is, is because when I'm playing that um, it freezes up the whole game here and I'm playing on Arena. So, so basically playing on Arena could... Um, definitely cause some lag issues so we'll be sitting there for like a good minute or so just just for me to search my library anyhow I got the basic cards here that you'll want um you know voice of the blessed gain a, a, a help point you get you get a, a one plus one counter uh, I got destiny spin a uh, spinner on there for it is a great card I can't tell you how much that card has uh, helped me get my creatures out against playing blue. Um, also, uh, this is a new one I put in there. It's a one cost, so I, I thought it, it'd be better now with all the dragons that are, are so hasty towards you. And Deafening Silence. This is a, a very um, important card, I think. Um, only uh, uh, allowing each person uh, when you're going up against uh, high sorcery decks where they basically cycle their their cards from the graveyard and out and back this is a this is a, a good card to have to stop that and it's a one cost each time I put it out it's I, I don't I don't recall really having this card destroyed um, Authority of Consoles helps with your haste players. Uh, Bushwhack, this is the one uh, that allows me to search my library. Yeah, it's probably the only one that I have on here. And um, it also allows me uh, to, to kill a creature I don't like. Uh, Shadow Spear is important for health gain and, and removing um, uh, hex proof and also indestructibility. Now, those are just a few of my beginning cards. This card's amazing. I love that card. Uh, besides that, it, it shuffles your, your deck for you, and you might have a good card coming up. That's kind of the the, 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 the point is of uh, trying to play with, with cards that don't make you shuffle your, uh, your, your, your deck is because you should have... Your deck should actually be... Um, well designed enough to where you don't have to you, you can rely on your cards coming up so let me show you what I mean so this is a 249 um, deck size I believe with, with these three you can, I can't see exactly what number it is because of my recorder so um, Anyways, let me get back there because I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to the lens to to show you what I mean. Now here's the lens that I have. Um, these are the snow. Sometimes I fluctuate these from 38 to um, 37, and I'll take a creature out and toss them back in later. Or, or uh, I think uh, I could put one more card in. I was I was saving up for. I have to find my list if I have it somewhere. Well, anyhow, um, in a 250 uh, card card deck, let me show you how I, I do my mana. 
always the mana is the, the 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 most imperative part of your deck because if you don't have the right amount of manas or lands you can't get out um your cards and that's kind of the whole idea so let me divide this but I'm going to say 250 that's the max you could have in, in a um, in, in arena at least and divide that by the average deck size which would be 24 so it's 10 so then um, oh, that's not right I'm sorry 250 times Point twenty four. So sixty. Now I'm gonna take that sixty and times it by uh, because the, the that's a deck size, right? So the deck size, um, or excuse me, I think I did my math wrong. I'm not a mathematician here. This is my first time doing this, so divided by sixty. <laughs> so four four times. Okay, so this is where I was getting. Yeah, so the four, you're going to take the average deck size and times it by that number because that's what that's how many lands you're going to put over here. Um, I'm, this is a, a basic white and, and green deck. Well, um, so I'm going to take that number times by 24. That I should have a hundred lands in there, which I probably do. Let's see, 36 plus 37. I might be off a little bit here. It's 37, go 73, and then count these little guys here, like one. So that's plus one. 74. Plus four, these blossoming sands. So you gotta have a, a, a good blossoming. Oops, good blossoming sands. That's for the health. Um, where's my calculator? Okay, so let's get back to four. Okay, so that's plus four. Seventy-eight plus three. Eighty-one plus four. 85 plus 3 88 plus 2 now this gives I have a little wiggle room here because I have lotus fields in there and you, uh, you should you know about the lotus fields how they um, have three of uh, any any uh, um, color that you need so yeah so I, I could count those really as, see that's one one, as six, so I count, so plus four, I can count those as 94 so far. Let me get back over here. Also, um, I play a high, a high cost deck which is could be bad I just added this card I want to see how it plays I'm not sure yet but that's how I, I build my decks is by trial and error I also have see um, cards that help with uh, mana whenever you tap a, a force or mana add an additional um, uh, mana for forced and then I got um, let's see Oh, here we go. Oracle Modaya. I think I'll, I'll put another one of her. Because, you know, Oracle Modaya really makes your deck roll. Um, hopefully I can add that card without taking one out. Anyway, um, oh, and there's another one up here. There he is. There's his little halfling face. You know, you love to see it like you're just walking into to a bar or something he's just sitting there like hey guys what's up want to come in you know well anyways this is a, a about 250 um cost deck oh that's why i thought i wanted it in there for some reason so i got garuk in here and uh basically i i usually just pull out this one with with my planeswalker
Hopefully it lets me finish. Yep. I could add the extra card. Let me see if it'll, it'll let me go back in and add another one I wanted. Waiting for the server. This take, takes so long. Anyway, um, this is my first video making for Magic the Gathering. And I'd be glad to go through a few of my other decks here. Yeah, you see I have a, um, great names like Squirrel, Supernatural, I love Supernatural, uh, Arc, Super Fucked, because this deck is really super fucked to play. Let me see if I can add this other card. I was uh, trying to have another one on. If not, it's whatever. I won't add it. Your decks are always going to be sometimes putting a card in, putting it, put, pulling one out. Um, and nine times out of ten, if you're frustrated because you're losing quite a bit, it comes down to your mana versus um, uh, sorcery ratio and creature. Um, now, on this one, I probably have just a, uh, most of my sorcery cards are going to be like uh, reshuffle my cards and to help help me not get milled and. Um, also, uh, this is basically an enchantment one, but everything else is destroy and exile. That's the whole concept of, the, of this desk, the deck, is to destroy and exile my enemies. This is a great card, to, to this visionary card. I want to tell you a few things about this card real quick. It's not, or I think this was actually the, the card I was trying to add. Let's see if I can get a second one there. I might have, yep. Yeah. One rare wild card. Finally, I earned that one. And um, I'm gonna tell you a few things why that that one I was I was going for is because, see, when you toss this card out and if it ha it's so low, p people hardly expect it. It's like a one three, and you know it's easy to kill. You know, you just burn it with the three three cost, but. Um, most people aren't willing to kill this card for some reason. They just don't see it as a threat. But I, I see this card as a major threat. If I see it out there, I'm going to kill it. Because you could just toss this card back into your hand after it's lost its summoning sickness, of course. And then um, grab a mana, throw it on the field. <laughs> every turn, or every couple of turns, you get to do that. And then... When you're done doing that, you have uh, four cards from your library each time in the in the in the graveyard. You just discard the card. Um, I think you have to exile it. I think I think you do exile it. I'm not. I don't think. I don't know. It says channel. So every time I see it, it just goes away. But anyways, um, uh, and then you get to return uh, X amount of non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. Now this is great because. I run an exile destroy deck, so I'm exiling everything except for this card. Obviously, I don't want to exile that, and destroying everything. And my cards are a part of that sometimes, so I get to bring them back in addition to other cards that I might want to use. So if you haven't added the Shigeki Jukai Visionary to your deck for a green deck, you you probably should. It's a great, great card. I highly suggest it. But yeah, um, hope you like my my first Magic the Gathering video. I was super nervous, and I, I and I'll be glad to try to do more. Thanks.